And the three things that I really want to see, and, I, and these are the things I wrote down, and I, I want to see an identity from Texas. You've got three coaches since 2014. Um, the, uh, again, th- those guys are, are just like the Yankees. They're just like the Dallas Cowboys. Every year is a big year, and there's so much hype around who are the Texas Longhorns going to be. The heck with all that. Just who are you guys going to be this year? Who are you guys going to be week one? Um, and I hope that they come out and really put a stamp on that. Second thing is just leadership. Who Who is that guy that steps out? Is it Hudson Card? Is it Bijan Robinson? That guy is a freak. Um, I think he's going to have a big year. And and Hudson, you know, man, don't feel like you got to do too much. Let it run through Bijan, man. Let let those guys, uh, you know, the big boys up front, um, you know, keep feeding those guys tacos. Get them a couple endorsements from a couple of, you know, Velvet Tacos down in Austin. Um, and let those guys, you know, make plays for you. And you just be a, just be a disher, man. Just be a product of your vibe. And I think Steve's Sarkeesian is going to do a really good job with doing that. And lastly, it's just, uh, again, kind of playing to that point, but go, go be Old Texas. Old Texas was a group that came in, and every kid in high school, if, you, if Texas came in the door, it was, it was oh, man, what, I can't wait, right? They, they slap a, 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 an offer on your desk, you're taking it. Not anymore. Go back to old Texas. Go be that group where, you know, you're, you're about to head off to the SEC. Um, this is your time to kind of solidify that town in Texas, uh, in the state of Texas, and, and not only that, but just nationally. Go make a mark for yourself. Yep, I, I agree with you. And that, that leads into my kind of three points as well. Um, old Texas, I, I mean, I remember when I would go to my high school locker, and there would be a bunch of letters in there, which was such a cool deal. I, I kind of was a – for lack of a better term, a douche, and I would take them to class and open them up, and all the girls would look at me and think I was really cool. But um, but I remember the time that I got my first letter from Texas, and I saw the horns on there. And yes, I grew up a Texas kid. Was I going to go there? Probably not. But I went to my, I believe it was a algebra class, and started opening up that letter, and I was like. What is it going to say? What I think it was like a camp invite, which, you know, is like not a cool letter to get unless it's like a handwritten letter, you know? It's okay. Um, but, uh, but it was still just so cool. So my three points and kind of the keys to the game, I'm going to call out the Texas fans. I was listening to Pardon My Take, and they had Kirk Herbstreet on, and he was describing Austin as just different. And I don't know if it's the people that go to the University of Texas now or not, but there's just not that moxie from a fanship standpoint that there used to be. And I get it. You know, you're not going to the national championship every year, like when Colt McCoy was there and so on and so forth, but you're still the university of Texas. You know, you go to state college up at Penn state and they're rocking out no matter what the record is. You go to college station, they're rocking it out. No matter if you have Johnny football or not, we need that type of fanship back in the big 12 this year, back down in Austin, so that when you go there, it's a it's a top 10 place to play in the country. So I'm calling out the fans down there in Austin. Secondly, I'm calling out the coaching staff. Key to the game, obviously new coaching staff, Steve Sarkeesian coming from the SEC, a lot of success there under Nick Saban. What's his demeanor going to be like? Has he got those guys ready to play? Does he got them fired up? Um, and are they going to go out there and, yeah, maybe have a little rust at the beginning, it's, you know, some of those nerves, but then really get it going and see a different product than we've seen in the past. And, you know, Sam Ellinger was the guy that, that was kind of the glue that held everything together. Are we going to have a, a, a quarterback? That's my third point. You got a new, fresh starter in Hudson Card going up against a veteran um, mm. there at Louisiana. And, uh, and so who, who's going to come out on top and be able to lead their team to victory? Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked what you saw here, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Maybe leave a comment. Interactions like that really do help grow the channel and they help more people like you find this content. So if you liked what you saw here today and you want to help me out, that's all you got to do. See you on the next video.